Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the last video we had discussed about the interpretation of the multiple regression model. Okay, so moving ahead with the multiple regression model, today we'll be talking about in this video about the OLS estimation of your partial regression coefficients. So we know that as we have assumed also that my model, my multiple regression model is basically linear in parameters. So I can use the OLS method to estimate the parameters, multiple regression model. So this is the short form for multiple regression model, MRM, okay. So to estimate the parameter parameters, again, we can use the OLS method. So using the SRF, right? So we'll need a sample regression function to estimate the population regression function using the uh, estimation of my parameters through beta 1 hat, beta 2 hat, beta 3 hat, okay? So I'll be estimating my parameters uh, with the help of these estimators, estimators, okay? So this is the sample reg uh, regression function, right? So what, uh, just try to recall what we did in the OLS method. So in the OLS method, basically we squared the error term and tried to minimize it. Okay, if you remember the lesson, so the entire idea uh, here is to minimize the error term. So if we, we have squ uh, squared this because, you know, if we had taken the normal summation, then some negative and some positive er error terms would have cancelled out and the remaining value would have been a lower value. So it might not have reflected the true essence of the uh, deviations from the uh, uh <coughs> true values of the parameters, okay, or whatever values that we are getting. So uh, the deviation from the mean values would no not have been captured properly. So that is why I'm taking the or we have taken the square of the error terms and we add the squares, right, and then we minimize it. So we know uh, using calculus how to minim minim uh, minimize a function. So this is the summation of ui hat square and this is what we get, right? I shift this term here and bring by this side. So this is what I'll get, okay? So the, uh, my summation ui hat square is basically the summation square of this term, okay? So when I differentiate with respect to the unknown variables, that is my beta 1 hat, beta 2 hat, beta 3 hat, okay? And then I'll equate it to zero. So that is how I uh, minimize a function by differentiating it and uh, equating it to zero and then finding the values of the unknowns, okay? This is the expected form of the equation. So y bar is basically the expected value. And if I take the expectation of this equation, then this is what I'll get. So we'll use this later on. So just try to remember this. So y bar is equal to beta 1 hat because the expectation of beta 1 hat or a constant term is the same thing. Then and the expected value or the average value of x to y and the expected value of x to y. So this term, the expected value of this term becomes zero because we know this from the assumptions, right? So on solving, on solving, this is what I'll get. So this is my beta 2 hat. This is my beta 3 hat. So the proofs are not important because uh, in an objective paper, your proofs will be irrelevant. So uh, what you need to remember is the formula or at least try to have a memory of it. So this is your beta 2 hat. This is your beta 3 hat. So summation yi, small yi. So small yi is basically your yi minus y bar. That is the deviation from the mean values, okay? that is being captured by small y. Similarly, small x i is, is equal to x i minus x bar. Okay, this is not working. x bar. I hope, uh, okay, let me just, right, okay x bar, right? So this is clear. So beta 2 hat is summation of yi into x 2 i into summation of x 3 i square minus summation of yi into small yi 
small x three i into summation of x two i small x two i into small x three i. Similarly, you can uh, see the entire formula, right? So this is how you estimate your est uh, population parameters, okay? And when you have all the beta two hat values and you take an average, then you get a unbiased estimator of your true population parameter. So I hope these concepts are clear already, and I don't need to explain them again and again. So this is uh, your, this is how you get. This is the formula. So these are the OLS estimators of the population regression function, regression coefficients. Okay, beta two and beta two hat. So these are your estimators of your true population parameters, right? So variance and standard errors of OLS estimators. So now that we have uh, calculated the values of the estimators, we also need to calculate the variance and the standard errors. So we know that standard error is nothing but the square root of your variance. So if I know the variance, then I can easily compute the standard errors. Okay, that is the standard deviation. So variance of beta one hat is given by this formula. So you can check. Right, so all the notations are pretty much clear. This is small x, this is x bar, right? So I don't think there would be any difficulty in you know having a look at the formula. This is your sigma square, and we will see what or how we compute this sigma square, right? And this is variance of beta uh, beta three hat. So sigma square is estimated by this sigma hat square, which is equal to summation of ui hat square upon n minus three. So this is basically the variance of the error term, or the square of the error terms, right? Uh, and this is used to compute this, and then it is used to calculate the variance of my beta three hat and other uh, variances of the estimators. So. Another way to calculate the variance is using the correla uh, correlation coefficient between the two independent variables. Okay, so variance can also be variance of beta two hat can also be calculated using this formula: so sigma square upon summation small x two y square into one minus r two three square. So r two three is basically the cor uh, correlation coefficient between your x two and x three variable. Okay, similarly you can calculate your variance. Beta three hat. So we'll talk about correlation coefficient and partial correlation coefficients very soon in an upcoming video, and then uh, these things will be more clear to you. So just uh, for the sake of understanding, right now, just try to. Uh, visualize and remember the formula if it's possible, and see what all terms are included in calculating the different things. Okay, like in here the variance, and uh, just previously as we saw your beta one hat, beta two hat, beta three hat values. Okay, that is here, beta two hat and beta three hat values. Right. So this is all for this video. So we'll start with a new topic in the next video that is your properties of OLS estimators in multiple regression model, right? So I'll see you soon. Take care.